Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope your holiday season is going well. This look has subtle glitter with red lips and if you want to know how to do this look, just keep watching. So for this look, I was aiming towards having dewy skin and to achieve that, I'm using my NARS Sheer Glow and blending that out with a beauty blender. Next, I'm going to lightly contour my face using a darker concealer stick. I'm applying this under my cheekbones, on my temples, and on the sides of my nose. Now I'm just going to use a brush to blend out the concealer we applied under our cheekbones and our temples, but when I blend out the sides of my nose, I'm just going to use my fingers. Now using a concealer that's a little bit lighter than our actual skin tone, I'm going to be highlighting and concealing under my eyes. I'm going to set my makeup using a translucent powder, and using a translucent powder will make sure that we don't lose any of the color we used before when we contoured our face. So now we're just going to use a bronzer in the places we apply the darker concealer to, just to further define our features, and this will also bring back a little bit more color to our face. Now I'm just going to apply blush and highlight to the top of our cheekbones to just accentuate our cheekbones and to again bring back more color to our face. Moving on to the eyes, I'm just using a medium brown shadow just as a transition color on my lids and I'm using taupe from the Lorac Pro palette. From the same palette, we are going to use the color Light Bronze, and this is just going to act as a base for the shimmery eyeshadow we're going to use next. I'm using a single eyeshadow from Stila in the shade Golden Topaz, and I think it's a really great way to subtly add glitter to any look. You can of course use it wet, and it will appear more glittery and more pigmented. Now we're just going to darken up the outer part of our eye and I'm using Espresso from the Lorac Pro Palette again and you'll see that I blend out the pigment and then I just keep building up until I get the desired darkness I want. to the outer parts of my lower lash line and then I'm going to apply light bronze in the middle and then highlight the inner parts of my eye with champagne also from the Laura Coke palette. Now I'm just going to tie line and waterline my eyes using a black kajal liner and this will just give more definition to the shape of our eyes. So for this look, we are going to create a really big and thick wing. I don't think I've ever done a wing this thick before, but I actually really like the way it came out. And so just tie the whole look together.
same cut out liner to connect the bottom of my wing to my bottom lash line. So here I'm just prepping my eyelashes for my falsies and the falsies that I used were actually a little bit too long for the shape of my eye so I snipped off the ends and then glued them back on top of the newly shaped lashes. I really like the way it looked, it's just really fluttery and really um, dramatic. And here I'm just lining my lips using the NARS Velvet Lip Pencil and after that I'm just going to fill in the rest of my lip using the same pencil. So that's the final look guys, I hope you enjoyed watching. I think it's really easy to achieve and very appropriate for the holiday season. If you guys haven't already, please hit the like and subscribe button and also watch my first holiday makeup tutorial. Thanks again for watching and see you in my next video that will be really soon. Bye!